Hello everyone, it's Miss D, Miss Cook, and Mr. Langston. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be discussing Stephen King and our favorite movies by him. And I'm going to start with one of my absolute favorite movies by Stephen King, and it's the movie Misery. Misery is a movie based on the uh, 1987 uh, novel by the same name, and it stars Kathy Bates, and she won an Oscar for her performance in the movie. She plays the character Annie Wilkes. And then we also have actor James Kahn, and he plays the author Paul Sheldon in the movie. So the movie begins with uh, Paul Sheldon, who is a successful author of a Victorian romance series. Um, Paul is traveling from Silver Creek, Colorado, and he's trying to get back home to New York City when he finds himself in the middle of a very bad snow blizzard, and his car goes off the road, and it causes him to become unconscious. So that's when Annie Wilkes finds him, and she takes him to her remote cabin. Later on, Paul regains his consciousness, and he finds himself bedridden with broken legs and a broken shoulder. And that's when Annie tells him that she is his number one fan. So Paul decided to let Annie read his manuscript. So once Annie begins to read the manuscript, she is very upset to learn that one of her favorite characters by the name of Misery Chastain is killed off at the end of the novel, and she begins to go into a crazy fit of rage. She then begins to um, tell Paul that she wants him to burn the manuscript, and she wants him to write a new book, and she wants uh, him to uh, title the book Misery's Return, where he brings the character back to life. Um, so you will find that she begins to go increasingly violent, and she forces Paul to write this new novel, and of course, him fearing for his safety, he complies with her, because he believes that she might actually kill him. So, and one of the most popular scenes in this film, um, it really documents Annie extreme fits of rage. You can literally feel the pain that Paul endures in the scene. So in the scene, um, Annie drugs Paul and she straps him into the bed. And when he awakes, um, he has been locked in the room for some time, and she begins to tell him, I know that you've been out of the room. And that's when she takes a sledgehammer, mm. and she breaks his ankles to prevent him from escaping from the room again. So that's a very popular scene in, in the film, and you can really feel the pain in that scene. Um, so I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, and I know you will too. I think James Caan and were phenomenal in their roles in this film, um, especially for a movie that takes place primarily in one room for the entire film. Uh, it's one of those movies that you can definitely watch over and over again and not get tired of watching it, and it will definitely have you on the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Well, one of my movies that I picked was The Mist. Now, The Mist was a good movie, but I did not like the ending of the movie. <laughs> so, but it takes place, it's a violent storm that blows in a mist in a town in Maine. And once the electricity go off, David Drayton and his young son, Billy, drive to get supplies from the local uh, supermarket. And they get trapped in a supermarket because the, the fog brings in screams of terror. And there's something terrifying going on in this mist. Creatures the size of cats. <laughs> insects. Can you imagine insects the size of cats? So everybody is in this grocery store um, blaming each other. It's like chaos takes place in the grocery store because they want to leave. Some people leave, they get killed. And, and it, it's 
it's just really, it's this really thick mesh. You don't know what's in there until you see these these little insects or whatever. And then once they get out, they're bigger than insects. They're like dinosaur size. Oh, wow. <laughs> so a group decides to leave, get in their car. We gotta get out of this store. We have to get out of this store. And they drive and drive. And finally, they decide to do a mercy killing. That's the part I didn't like about it. <laughs> but if only they would have waited a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. they would have found out that the, the mist was about to clear up and they would have been all right. So at the last minute, he decides to kill everybody oh. who, who went with him. And so that part I didn't really like, you know, as far as the mist, but I did like, the beginning, how the, you know, is this mysterious mist that, that came in, and you know, but um, other than that, I liked the movie, but I didn't like the ending of the mist. Wow. <laughs> well, um, just to piggyback off of yours, that's very interesting <laughs> because I think, you, like you said, you, you know how sometimes you're in certain situations and you're not thinking, oh, I'm just going to wait until something, you know, you just right. want to react right then right and there. there. Right. So that is kind of like Jake when it comes to the end, you're like, oh, no. Right. And I've never seen Misery. I've heard about it, especially that, that scene yes. in particular. Yes. Yes. But it's yes. very interesting because <laughs> I was watching, I don't know if everybody else watches, but I was watching Family Guy and they actually did that scene from, uh, from Misery. So I was like, why does this sound familiar? I know I didn't see this movie, but I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, that was good. That was good. That was good. Um, so. The movie I'm going to actually talk about, I'm not even going to, you know, per se say it's my favorite because I do not care for clowns, you know. <laughs> However, they were rather interesting to me. Um, um, so I liked it. Uh, Stephen, 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 why am I not getting his name right? Stephen King. That's right. I was going to put a B <laughs> in his name. It's not a B in it, but Stephen King. I, um, I do like all his uh, versions of it, from the original mm -hmm. to the current one now. Mm -hmm. The current two now. Now, I actually now act liked the original the best. Um, I haven't seen it um, in a while now. Mm -hmm. However, what I do remember from the original, I just like how it was basing on um, it was a, a clown um, if everybody doesn't know uh, it is a clown and he will only appear in the time of what you are very fearful of right. so he was basically your fear in a way so right. if you're scared of spiders some I don't know he might come out as a big clown spider something like that you know so crazy that yeah. but actually he did do that in the current uh, chapter two in yeah, chapter two but um, um, but I, I, I like that because it wasn't I guess as graphic as mm -hmm. the today's one yeah um, so when I seen the uh, up to date versions the, the remakes of them I should say um, Chapter one, yeah, didn't care for the beginning. I, I didn't want to see young man's arm get bit off, you know. We, we, we wanted it to be implied that we kind of knew what happened, but you know, so it was a little more, eh. Did like when they kicked his butt at the end, so that, that sufficed, I guess. Uh, however, I will say, Chapter two, in chapter two, mm -hmm. I actually end up liking that one mm -hmm. because um, the second one seemed to have more of a message to it than okay. the first one um, of the remake. Because mm -hmm. um, it seemed like basically in the second one, everybody was starting to overcome their fears mm -hmm. and kind of uh, be who they are or 
come be, get over what you know what they were inevitably scared of to be like I know. So that was in the second one. That was in the second one. Oh, That's okay. why I appreciate the second one, and you know they finally got rid of the dang clown. <laughs> Didn't want him popping up no more. Y'all see this big head? I don't want to see that. So in the in in the second one, was it the? Was it still the fear that it represents whatever you were afraid of? Yeah, the it still one. definitely represented what they were afraid of, but like they finally was able to conquer okay, their fears conquer. in so a way. It just came came in the form of a clown. Correct. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, okay. He was still trying to kill them though. Right. And that was my only thing. It seemed like to me in the original, the mm -hmm. original 19, whatever that was, that when you know he wasn't really killing them, you know, mm -hmm. or at least we didn't see it. Right? Yeah, we didn't see it. Yeah, because they several of them did die, but you know, right? We didn't see it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, but that's why. But uh, that's why I kind of chose that one because, like I said, I really did actually in a way enjoy the second one because mm -hmm. like I said it seemed like there was a good message there and I like how it ended mm -hmm. um you know right. so. well we hope you guys enjoyed this video um we have plenty of Stephen King books and movies here at the East Cleveland Public Library you're welcome to come in or request the books or, or movies and uh, just let us know your favorite Stephen King book or movie at the East Cleveland Public Library. Thank you and have a good day. Try bye -bye. not to watch it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs>